Refuge Cove is unique in the fact that it's, it's nestled in to a well-protected cove. Uh, it's called Refuge Cove because the predominant winds are the southeast wind in the winter and it's always been a safe harbor for, for tugs, fishing boats, anybody passing by. So this is basically the beauty of Refuge Cove, it, that it is protected. Refuge Cove store, there's been a store here for over a hundred years, but in the 40s it was taken over by Norman Doris Hope, who ran it until 72. Uh, then a land co-op, the Refuge Cove Land and Housing Co-op, uh, bought the, the land and included in the store and the commercial area. Basically we kept the, the commercial area so that people who wanted to move here, which was the the, the point um, could actually find a, a place to do business. Refuge Cove is, has never really been a destination stop. It's, it's basically be people will get up from their boats, from their anchorage, they come in, they get the groceries they need, they water up, they fuel up, and then they take off to their favorite spot in Desolation Sound and beyond everybody. So there is probably about secret spots that a hundred boats over the course of the season use, but when people are particularly returning to it, it's their secret spot. And it is so beautiful, I mean, and we are just round the corner from it. We've always been the supply stop for um, boaters in Refuge Co in, in Desolation Sound. We try to have one of everything because we'll get asked for one of everything. So we, we, it's hard to have a lot of choice, but we have a, we have a great grocery section. Uh, specifically, we have a wonderful fresh produce. But fresh produce is big with boaters. People want to know when the next freight run is so they can come in the next day for fresh produce. We've got dairy, ice cream, we've got a really good deli, we have a liquor store, we have the post office, we have the, the, the laundromat. We have a great book selection of local books. The first book we still sell uh, 60 copies plus of The Curve of Time. It was the first book which uh, spawned an industry of, of, of great books about uh, local boating, fishing, etc. Um, my favorite, of course, is Dynamite Stories by uh, local artist, author Judy Williams, which has uh, a lot about the earlier life here when we moved here in, in the 70s to Refuge Cove. The fuel dock is, is a great fuel dock from what I understand because it's perfectly positioned in, in, in the harbour. It's, it's got lots of depth all around. You can get to it on the three sides and you can't really get into trouble and, and a lot of boaters appreciate this. Uh, on the docks we've got power, uh, 15 amp power and an ample supply of treated water. Um, we, we get our water from the lake and it's, it's tested every, every two weeks and there's lots of it. We're famous for our ice uh, because we make it in back there in the ice room and freeze it. So the ice and cubes, the block ice is famous for being the best ice. All of our supplies meet from, from various places, Victoria, Vancouver, they meet in, in, in Cold Star, in Comox where we have our driver pick it up, uh, take two ferries to Quadra Island to Cortez Island where we meet the truck on Cortez Island at Squirrel Cove and we load the truck at Squirrel Cove and we load it into our boat, we bring the boat over and then we hoist it up and it's in the store. I, I, my, my line about it is it's the last bastion of man over machine in western civilization. There's a cafe, restaurant, up coast summers, uh, above that, that, that does um, breakfasts and lunches. And along the boardwalk is the, the gallery. I love this porch the most. It's, it's magical to me. Re Refuge Cove, there's, there's a magic that a lot of people get, but also some don't get it. It's, it's, it's very funky, it's very quaint, and there's something about coming over here by boat for the first time in the year and, and, and there it is and, and it's, it's totally different from, from anywhere else I've ever been and it is detached, it is boat access only, you can only get here with a boat or you can take a plane in and it has a whole different feeling to it, uh, this, this little 
kind of oasis nestled in wood, basically, the BC coast. It's wood. And you have these little settlements like this that, um, that I mean, I just love Refuge Cove. I've been here most of my life now, and I, 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 just, I just love it.